Wit Children's Hospital to help us identify heroes for the season. Um, they're selected by the hospital for a variety of reasons. Um, usually it's because they've got an incredible story that we as an organization are, are honored to be able to tell. We announce our class of heroes at our annual Hockey Fights Cancer Night, in which the children are on the ice as part of our starting lineup, standing alongside our players as kind of a badge of support, and that they're in the fold with us. When we found out Haley was nominated, we were like, oh, this is really great. It's going to bring attention to pediatric cancer. We're going to come to a game. It's going to be so much fun. But it's so much more than that. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. When we came, we uh, were welcomed. Um, Claire was given a jersey, and we had this amazing room that we got to stay in. And we were just showered with food and attention. Honestly, it was our first celebration of something positive since we have had our diagnosis in March. It was awesome to be able to take a break and have fun and be celebrated versus, you know, constantly be treated, I guess you could say. Part of that relationship with the families is to invite them to have professional photos taken. And the goal of these photos is to really capture the strength, beauty of the battle that they're going through as a family and to be able to look back and reflect on this time in their life. We were hanging out, taking some pictures with the equipment and then Stinger came in, and then we had a food fight, and then we had hockey food fight. What? <laughs> what do we got here for? And then three people had to clean the popcorn up. They're doing it right now. It's a nice thing to be able to just not have your life be all about, you know, the negative side, to be able to talk about some of those cool and, and momentous experiences. Like just to have that one little bit of being able to be a kid again after everything that, that we went through. <laughs> and to see that like there is there's people out there who, who do care. They're, they do care about us. One of the most amazing things that this organization has done since the team's inception is the support for pediatric cancer patients and their families. One of the pillars of our foundation is pediatric cancer, and that shows up through therapy, through distraction. That's providing these opportunities where families get to take a night out, they get to focus on other things. And through our great support of not only our fans, our partners, our players, our organization, our front office staff, we're really able to provide that therapy distraction as one of our north stars of our foundation. You know, to see how the kids have, have been engaged um, in the distractions and getting, getting mentally away from their illness, their condition, the, the literal danger that they're in, um, and to see them smile, you know, once in, it's, you know, it, sometimes it's been months. You know, it was very hard for us to watch Haley's life kind of change through this journey and she can't do all the things she's used to doing and it, it made her very sad and, it, and we just saw a change in her personality. It's, it's hard to see her, it's hard for me to see her down so much. So when we get opportunities like this, we see the old Haley, like the bubbly personality and the, the big heart. <laughs> if anyone's anything like me, it is important for them to come here and get a break and feel like a normal family. It is absolutely therapy through distraction. 36 weeks of chemotherapy, 14 consecutive days of radiation, and months of physical therapy. Please welcome a cancer-free Miss Lila Urbanic. I practiced for weeks beforehand and I had always had a little bit of a stage fright, even singing just for people like my family. To see her get out there and you know, take that first breath and there's just a little delay, so I just got, you know, there's a really moment of anxiety. I kind of half raised the microphone because I couldn't hear the, the announcement and I, I froze for a second because I didn't know when I was going to start. And I, I pulled the microphone up. Oh, say can you see? 
And then she just started going as smooth as could be. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. After weeks and weeks of practice and a whole bunch of, of my teachers and friends in the audience, it was incredible. And the whole time I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm actually doing this. This is, this is really cool, like this is me. Just to see the smile on, on their face, um, I think the entire program is, is obviously worth it. And I would encourage anybody to, you know, get involved, um, even if it just helps with one, one person, it's, it's, it's well worth it. I'll tell you, you know, you, when you're going through it, you kind of feel like you're on an island and you're, and you're on, on your own. So to have organizations and programs like, like Heroes is super important to families like ours or anybody that's been through something that's not usual that most people not a lot of people may have have experienced for people to be aware of pediatric cancer i mean it's it's a small percentage of a population but what a big deal it's nice to know that it's not ignored um, and that the community itself supports us in that and the blue jackets have been a big part of that Like to have that break, to have that one moment of peace and like the sea of chaos that everyone goes through, it's, it means so much to kids who think that they don't have anything left in them. Like it's because cancer took it all, just like that. And for people to support the Blue Jackets Foundation, they give just a little tiny glimpse of, of peace and hope that they too can enjoy themselves.